and welcome back to my channel. It's Lovely Shell. I know that some of you guys may be confused about my screen name, username. I've been kind of in between two names, um, but I think I'm going to go back to Lovely Shell simply because that's just, it, it, that's what I started out with. I felt like I wanted to change my name because my channel is going to be about things other than just ha natural hair and I felt like I needed to change my name, but I'm, you know, what better name than Lovely Shell? It's a play on my real name as also it is, it encompasses the shell that I live in, this, this person that I embody, this body that I'm in. So it's like a shell, like a, you know, like a seashell, you know, it's, it's what I'm in. So I feel like that fits me better. So I will be changing my name back to Lovely Shell. Just bear with me. I'm a woman and we have a right to change our mind. According to Wendy Williams, I have, I have a right, right? Anyway. Today is Veda, day one, and I, I personally have made a commitment to myself to do this Veda thing all through August. This is something I'm going to stick to because like I said before, I have a problem with sticking to things and I wanna change that about my life. So today, I thought I would come to you guys and discuss with you something near and dear to my heart and that is health and fitness with my focus being on weight loss um, my weight loss goals and um, what I'm doing to get to my goals. According to LiveStrong.com, a person who is 5'4", with a small to medium build should be between 127 to 138 pounds. Um, I'm nowhere near that, okay? I am 5'4", five, 5'4 four, five, four a half-ish, somewhere in between there. And I consider myself to have a very small to medium frame. I am way above the weight that I should be. Way above it. Like to the point where it's it's like, you know, you, you're so used to carrying around that extra weight that it, you just assume that it's okay. But then when you look in the mirror or you look at pictures of yourself or you're trying on clothes, <laughs> you know, when you're out and about in the store, you're like, really? I, I really I'm this big you know I'm to that point now um, so I feel like I fall between the small to medium frame I, when I was younger I was I was a very skinny girl up until puberty and of course with puberty a lot of times you know little girls you know girls we gain weight um, due, due to different things like hormones and you know what you're eating of course um, but I re I'm really trying to focus on maintaining a weight that I feel comfortable with and a weight that is within the, you know, guidelines within a, a safety, you know, uh, um, uh, uh, you know, a safety span for me or what I consider to be safety because there is a history of um, hereditary diabetes that runs in my family. And, you know, if any of you know, any of you who may suffer from diabetes or have family members who suffer from diabetes, you'll know that, you know, specialist doctors, they'll tell you that one of the main components to trying to um, get a hold on diabetes and lessen the effects of it is maintaining and controlling your weight, um, which happens to be a big, big problem, especially in the African-American community. Um, you know, weight is just one of those things that we battle with. We battle with it for so many different reasons, whether it's poor, you know, dieting choices, um, not exercising, you know, you name it. It's just, it's, it's just, you know, it's, it's within our community much more than it should be. And so I'm taking a personal stance in my life to try to combat it or to try to meet it before it hits home to me and a part of that is like I said maintaining your weight exercising watching what you eat um, my goal weight is my weight now is 185 pounds at 5'4 okay and I am down about 15 pounds um, from three months ago three months ago I started on this journey of waking up every morning at about 6 30 before it gets really 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 hot and I walk well I do sort of a speed walk and also I jog in between um, I don't try to over do things because I know that I will probably give out a breath and faint or whatever out there and I'm not trying to do that but I do speed walk and then once I gain my momentum and I feel like my heartbeat is up enough, I will start to jog a little bit until I get tired and then I'll walk more. 
Um, they say you should push yourself every day to try to do a little bit more, push yourself to um, jog a little bit more, walk a little further every day, and that's what I do. I find that it has really helped me. I've lost, um, what, 12, 13 pounds, you know, down from 200 or whatever, and I feel lighter. I feel so much better, but I'm a long way away from my goal weight, which I want to put at around, I want to be around 140, 145. And I know that that's over what Liv Strong says I should be for my height. However, I have lost a lot of weight before in the past. I've always kind of did like this yo-yo dieting thing. The last diet that I did was actually the Atkins diet and it did work. Um, I lost a lot of weight with it. However, um, due to the restrictions on your sugar consumption and the type of sugar I was consuming, it wreaked havoc on on me. Um, I was doing a lot of the sugar substitutes, a lot of the um, uh, you know fake sugar substitute sugar thing, and it wreaked havoc on my organs. It wreaked havoc on my skin. It wreaked havoc on my mood. I was cranky all the time. Um, it was just it was bad, and I I was losing weight so rapidly. And I was so proud of the weight that I was losing and I was happy with the way I was looking in my clothes and things like that. I just kind of ignored the side effects of it until it got to a point where it just got really, really bad. And so I had to get off of it. I had to say, hey, you know, you know, this is not good. This is, I mean, you're, you're trying to reach something um, that you feel like you need, but you're compromising your body in the process. And I just, you know, I, I just completely had to give up the sugar-free, you know, substitutes and sugar-free drinks and things like that, low-calorie you know, low drinks and things of that nature. And so that's what I did. And um, immediately, I wouldn't, no, I'm not going to say immediately. It, it wreaked havoc on my system. It took a while for me to get back to my usual, lively, vibrant, you know, just usual self. Um, and it took a while for me to get back to feeling the way I, I felt like I should have been feeling. So um, the yo-yo dieting thing, I've done it off and on for a very long time. And I don't recommend that either. I know, you know, I'm not the only one who suffered from that. I've heard, you know, I've heard stories and I've listened to people tell their stories about their weight loss challenges and over the years, how many diets they've tried and the different diets, you know, that you can get on. Um, but the most important thing to take from this is to figure out what works for you. Okay, and try to stick with that. It's always a, a balanced, you know, low calorie, uh, low carb um, diet, but you want, want to make sure that you get in all of your nutrients and your vitamins, your proteins, things of that nature, making sure you're eating enough fruits and vegetables, um, and also, you know, exercising. Like, you know, you'll feel better. When I go exercising in the morning, and I've been doing this, like I said, for the past three months, I sleep better at night. I sleep like a baby. Like, it's, it's so weird, but I, it, you, you feel better. It's like you, overall, you feel much better. And so incorporating all of that, I am really trying, like I said, I'm trying to focus on losing the weight that I need to lose and get down to a sizable, a, a weight that I feel comfortable with. I'm not trying to be excessively overly skinny because I've done that and I lost everything. Like I had no curves and I'm a person on me. I like a little curvation on myself. That's just, that's my personal preference for me. Um, I'm not really concerned about what other people, how other people view me, but as long as I, you know, in, like the way that I look in my clothes and like what I see as a reflection in the mirror, I feel like everything, you know, that should be, you know, okay. It's, it's okay to, you know, like what you see in the mirror as opposed to what somebody, you think somebody else wants to see. And as long as you are healthy, that's the main point, healthy and getting that and healthy and accomplishing your weight goals, then, you know, everything should fall into order. So it's going to take, you know, discipline. It's going to take you standing in there and just, you know, holding yourself accountable. Like I'm holding myself accountable for these Veda videos, which I may be doing all by myself. But that's another story. It's okay. Um, so, yeah, that those are my weight loss goals. Um, I plan to just, you know, continue to eat the way I've been eating fruits, vegetables, watching my calorie intake 
making sure I exercise and, and keeping a schedule with that, making sure I stick to that schedule. You know, unless it's an emergency or something dire comes about, I try to stick to my exercising regimen because I see the difference that it's making. So yeah, what are your weight loss goals? If you have any, drop them down in the comment section below and have a discussion with me. Yeah, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye.